Hi guys, welcome back to The Wargamer and you're joining me for another tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you how you can paint your tank tracks, but instead of using those uh, specialist pigments and uh, mud and other types of things, I'm just going to be using some regular acrylic paint to show you how you can achieve those similar effects such as rust, dust and mud. So let's look at some of the components you'll need for this video. Some paint thinner. In this video I'll be using AK Interactive's thinner, but you could also use some distilled water. Some paints. In this case, I'll be using the contents of AK Interactive's tracks and wheel set, but I will be including a full list of alternative paints in the description below. And finally, some tracks to paint. Preferably ones that have already had their bogies and road wheels painted. Here I'm using some tracks from a Rubicon models kit, as their tracks are easily separated from the rest of the miniature, which just really helps to paint them. For the first step of painting the tracks, I'll be using an airbrush, however this isn't necessary, but it's just a lot quicker if you do, and for this, I'll be using dark tracks. But however you decide to paint, for the step you'll want to mix some thinner or water in with your paint, adding just a small amount at a time until you have the consistency of milk. I find that roughly one part paint to one part water should suffice. You can then apply your first layer over the tracks. Allow this first layer to dry before applying a second coat over the top, as this will ensure an even surface colour. If, like me, you do decide to use an airbrush, you may wish to mask off some of the already painted areas to avoid any overspill. Now that we've finished airbrushing our tracks, we can go ahead and remove the tape. Don't worry if you accidentally spilt over onto the already painted areas, as we can cover this up later on. If you did decide to airbrush the tracks, you may find that the masking may have accidentally covered up some of the parts of the track, such as the links that we have here. You can easily touch up these areas with a regular brush, using the same mixture that we were using before. With the track's base coat finish, we can now start to work on any rubber, and for this we want to use our rubber tyres paint, mixed in much the same way as the dark tracks from the previous step. So using a paintbrush, we can now paint the rubber areas of our tracks, which for the most part will be the rubber rims of the road wheels, but may also include rubber pads on the tracks themselves. Paint one layer with your thinned mixture, allow it to dry, and then apply a second layer over the top. Much like when we base coated the tracks, applying several thin layers will create a much better coverage than applying a single thicker layer. Tank tracks often get rusty, and to represent this, we are going to be creating a wash that we can apply over our track links. For this, take a small amount of rusty tracks and mix it with some thinner, roughly one part paint to two parts thinner should create a nice thin wash. Using our severely thinned down rusty track mixture, we can now apply this as a wash across all of our tracks. Make sure that the wash flows into the recesses, creating a slightly rusted appearance to the tracks. Also, don't worry too much about applying the washes uniformly across the tracks, as it is unlikely that the rust and weathering would form consistently. In this next step, we'll be adding some mud to our tracks, and for this I'll be using dry light mud and a dry brushing technique. Dry brushing involves loading up a brush with some paint and removing some of the excess from it onto a tissue or a piece of paper until only a small amount of paint remains in the bristles. With our brush, we can now drag our bristles over the surface of the tracks and the road wheels to simulate the buildup of mud. You can even employ a slight dabbing technique to ensure that the paint gets into some of those recesses where you would expect mud to accumulate. Again, don't worry about being too uniform in your application. For our final step, we want to apply some dust to the tracks and road wheels. This time we will be using our dust paint mixed in the same way as our rusty track wash from a previous step. We will be targeting this wash into the recesses of the tracks, road wheels and bogies that the mud hasn't built up on. This wash should flow easily into the recesses and when dried give the effect of dust that's built up into the crevices. And here we have the finished tracks. In addition to using these techniques on tank tracks, you could easily apply the same techniques to wheeled vehicles as well. For painting tyres, follow the same steps as we did for painting the rubber trim and apply the mud and dust in much the same way. Additionally, you could go further with your weathering and use these same steps for other parts of the tank as well. And so that concludes this video on painting your tank tracks using regular acrylic paints. Now whilst I've used the AK Interactive range of paints for this video, you could use uh, some other manufacturers and I've included a list of alternative paints in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, do let me know in the comments below and also give me your suggestions for future tutorials similar to this you would like to see me tackle in the future. And if you're interested in supporting this channel, then you can do so by checking out my Patreon page, which you can find a link to in the description below as well. So the only thing left to say is thanks for watching and goodbye.